I'm Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. We've talked a lot about day two scans. Why are scans done on day two or day three of your period in order to assess your fertility potential? But let's try to understand what we are trying to see in these ultrasonography scans, which are done on day two or day three of your period. So basically, we're trying to look at the AFC, antral follicle count in your ovaries, as in how many eggs are growing, are being stimulated naturally by the hormones which are released from your brain and of course only one will ovulate but how many are growing it gives us a rough potential of the reserve in your ovaries so antral follicle count is estimated by measuring any follicle inside your ovary which is measuring from about 2 to 10 millimeters so it's very important to measure all of them each ovary should roughly have about 5 to 10 follicles it gives us an estimate that your reserve is very good not just this in PCOS patients uh, 12 or more follicles are absorbed so this is an outlier and when the egg reserve is low then less than four or five follicles are observed so it gives a very fair decision making picture to your clinician that all right the egg reserve is okay then maybe we can start with uh, low grade treatment protocols and then slowly move on to higher ones if you need so it's very critical to do these scans on the day that they ask you to which is day two or day three now it doesn't mean that a young woman who has a low egg reserve in her uh, AFC or in her scan has a lower fertility potential. You have to understand that even if a young woman shows a lower uh, egg reserve, her fertility potential or her chance to get pregnant and have a live birth rate is much higher than an older woman who has a large ovarian reserve or large number of eggs in her ovaries. That's because the chromosomal competence of eggs comes down as a woman ages. So a low reserve uh, in a young woman could mean better success rate than a high reserve in an older woman. So these are very critical things to observe by a clinician when they start off your treatment. And you also need to understand that uh, with age, your potential to get pregnant also comes down. If you want to understand more about this, if you've done a scan and you know your antral follicle count, you want to understand your fertility potential, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.